There you go. Hi, I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper, and this is Amy Fell in the Flowers, and this is Fun with Flags. <laughs> And we are going to discuss what happened. There you go. <laughs> okay. Where's all this glitter come from? All right. There's a party over there. First of all, I went to Grand Marais for lunch after we left Cloquet. And that's where we stayed last night. How you doing, after 19 miles up. What? That's our producer that's going in. We got groceries and we tried to make Taipei, which is not Chinese, it's Thai pay. But he ran back because Travis and I got getting something else. <laughs> We're in line, I already put the groceries in. So they pushed me, they they like walked me to the line and then when I once I was at the line, they just they just went. They were looking for something else. They yeah. didn't care. We took the groceries out of the basket and stacked them on the thing, right? <laughs> no, just, I did. I was in line. There was a lady behind me. I was already in the social contract of being in the line. I couldn't. I couldn't stop it. I'll tell you what. We'll get <laughs> okay, uh, Carl, who helped us last year, evidently, we said is Carl working this year. We never had a Carl last year, so evidently he's a ghost, an apparition, or maybe he lives next door down the street or something. <laughs> Just some strange stranger. Oh, I'll help you. Okay, uh, but two of Voyager's finest helped us move up stuff, so that was good. Uh, we got in, though. We wondered why there was a big rock in front of the door over there with the pantry, because we was going to put food in there. So young Mr. Tyler was yeah, opened the door, and there was oh, a yeah. mouse in there. You know, it was hidden. They, I guess, tried to lock it in or mm. whatever. So, Happy, what's happening? Travis is going to try to get a mouse out, which he's doing, and I'm getting a bag out to put it in. I thought I was supposed to open the door. That's your job. My job is this. His job. <laughs> oh, and he's got it. Found him, found him, found him. Him needs some help. Do you know CPR? No. Do you know mousy CPR? No. Oh, he's still alive, but he's not feeling good. Oh, he's cute. Yeah, he needs some help. What are you doing, trash bag guy? Throw him out to the fox. <laughs> hey, Kay, did you hear that? Wow. Throw him out to the fox. I'll send him out and give him some food water. I can't believe that. Poor Can guy. you believe that? We uh, captured the mouse and we tried to resuscitate it. Well, <laughs> Dr. Travis did, and uh, but it passed away. Opened up the Cheetos and gave them one and and some water and I'm thinking these guys are nuts, <laughs> but we had to get the mouse because Travis related a story when he was younger. One of his friends, <laughs> uh, there was mice in his house and he ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and he didn't wipe off his face with the jelly, and the mouse came up that night and bit his lip, so. Tyler just ate a Pat Hog bar and he had it on his face and he said, I'm going to get that off. Now cut to him explaining the story earlier. <laughs> Somebody locked him in a there was a Wait a minute. There was a guy that ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and he left a little bit of jelly peanut butter on his face. Travis said one of his friends, what was his name? Uh, Matt. Matt. And Matt had a mouse by his lip. A rip. Or yeah, buy a rat or something by his lip. By his We're going to need some Cheez-Its and some water stat. I'm not feeling good. <laughs> you know, the fox is right up there. We're going to work on him first. We're going to do CPR. What story <laughs> earlier? When you were telling that exact same story earlier, <laughs> you made no sense. <laughs> what, what did I say? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Yeah, but it's funny. Yeah. Okay, then we went fishing. Uh... Travis caught two. Tyler caught two. I caught three. Count one, two, three. And the totals mm -hmm. Travis caught one pike. He caught one walleye. Tyler caught one smallmouth, but it's 15 inches. 
and I caught three, count them, one, two, three walleyes. And the new fishing rules. Okay, I already first. Thanks. Look on the camera like I did. I'm. I just. <laughs> you can do it seriously. You're 20 now. So these are. Wow. These are the new rules. Camera's right there. I know. I can't look and read at the same time, buddy. The. Okay, for walleye, it's one point. But if they're over 17 inches, it's two points. But you get five points if they're 24 inches. For small mouth, you get one point. But if it's over 15 inches, you get two points. And you get five points if it's 21 inches or over. Northern, you get one point. But if it's over 30, you get two points. And you get five points if it's 40 or over. That's and, inches, by the way. Yeah, inches. I thought I clarified that. <laughs> well, evidently you didn't. No, I wouldn't have said it. <laughs> For white suckers, you just get one point. That's it. And for perch, you get one point, but if it's over nine, you get two points, and five points for 14 inches. So those are the new fishing rules. Anything else uh, you might take a gander at our <laughs> makeshift uh, studio here. The, we propped open a We light. needed some light, and there's a lamp. Are you going to run the camera? <laughs> I'm, I'm running the camera. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, here, I'll bring it down. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this everybody. Has been our We're overexposed we are, now. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll get you really overexposed. Da, da, da. So that's our makeshift the studio. Is that what you call it? Yeah. yeah. 2019 trip just getting kicked off. And I yeah. might add our cameraman slant director, slant producers, doing a really poor job. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bump the camera yeah. now. And in case you're wondering what that loud noise was... <laughs> It was a flare gun. <laughs> Wish he told us about it. Of... That would have been nice. I did. I told you that. He didn't tell you. Oh, oh sorry. I forgot this. <laughs> See, this is what happens. This is... Never mind. You're 20 now. Yeah, I you guess I get am. Get over it. You're fine. Okay. Well, until tomorrow, this is Dr. Sheldon Cooper and Amy Felina Flowers. And who are those guys? SpongeBob and... And Smackle later Lord. on this week, we're going to have a special surprise from SpongeBob. See you then. Is Big Bird coming? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Get your <laughs> your right. Oh, I'm sorry. Ready? Go. Uh, bye, everybody. <laughs> oh. Hey, I am Farmer Brown from Iowa. This is a guy who thinks he knows you. And that was our illustrious director, producer, camera operator that does nothing. Shooting the confetti again. But it he smells cleans like it up, so that's fine. Well, what'd you think it shot with a slingshot? I think it was a beaver. No, that one's it? over there. Slingshot anyway, one's over there. quite a day today. It was not rainy, but it was sultry. Ugh. Hot. But anyway. How uh, would you know? Because <laughs> I went out and uh, I got your firewood for it. He's the fire Thank marshal, you. but. I got the firewood. Anyway, uh, got up and there was an ant on the floor and young Hector here, he did the Tennessee two-step trying to kill it. <laughs> took him 25 seconds to kill it. The ant was fast, but he's doing I the, stepped on it and it wasn't dead yet, so I stepped on it like five more times just to make sure. In 22 seconds. <laughs> so, that's there. Okay, we went out. Uh, those two went out. I stayed in. I had a sore shoulder. Went out earlier they went over to the falls and there's no fish in that lake zero in the nothing the we all fished right. all day nothing uh came back uh, and by the way they did have chili up and they had chili here oh yeah uh came back took a nap uh then we played uh, five crowns yeah ray we're playing five crowns it's spreading the world and ray i skunked them Apparently. Apparently. He barely knows how to play, but he can win every time. One last night, one today, so Ray. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, you don't you know you're gonna bet on her? I don't know, but she lost last time we played, Ooh. so <laughs> Okay. Alright, then we uh took a nap for two, three hours. Then we went out after dark and fished for walleye. And 
point totals. Tie two points. Pappy four points. Uh, who's this other guy? Seven points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that other guy. You know that the other, other guy? guy? He's not on camera, so you don't know who he is. <laughs> Trevo. <laughs> All right. That's his new legal uh, name. He changed but, it. But he did get four walleye. One of them was like 22 inches long, so we do have fillets to eat. I caught one walleye, but what I'm more proud of is I caught two crawdads. <laughs> so I'm eating where no, we're having turf and how surf. many how many did I catch today? How many did I catch after fishing for like how many hours? Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. It was the worm's fault. Yeah. You lazy worm. I got zero. Yeah, but I tell you what. We still love you anyway. And you know what else we forgot? <laughs> what else else? Oh, yeah. Go get it so we can All right. I mean, Here, hold this. We forgot this last night. And, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's over. <laughs> My arms got tired. I rode that guy all day. Yeah, I know. My arms get tired, too. You know how it is. Anyway, I uh, guess that's it. That's all that happened today. We uh, Not much. Anything. We napped a lot, but we enjoyed the day, so that was good. So mm. I'm uh, the farmer from Iowa, and this is the guy who thinks he knows I me. I think I know you. And we'll see you later. Bye. Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. I'm Jimmy Five Crowns, and this is <laughs> Tonto One Crown. Uh, and that's because he's only won one game of Five Crowns, where I am the champion. I hope they can hear you. <laughs> A Five Crown. Okay, that's good. You can't. You can't cut it off. Uh, anyway, we're gonna since I'm Jimmy Five Crowns, we cannot use the effect of the gun going off with the confetti because <laughs> some of my some of my friends might come up. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, we had a great day today. We uh, first of all, I wanna Tonto's gonna stand up and oh, get yeah, full here. effect on his. Uh, here, I got uh, spaghetti pants. We take him out and put him out in the woods so that when the bears go by, they won't bother him. So. <laughs> they can't see me. Well, you know, he, he, they had don't like of, spinach. he had a lot of friends, but his dad, they used to have to tie a pork chopper around his neck for the dogs to play with him. When he was <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, uh, had a great day. Uh, he, I put him in a long shirt, too, so he wouldn't show off his guns <laughs> like he did last night. I already did it. I okay. Uh, Tyler did win one game of five crowns. Last night I did. But today, <sighs> He's what won. was it, 160 to 140? We had a bunch of points, and he had like three? 17. 17? Like <laughs> I get accused of cheating. First time I ever heard of the game. Uh, he's won, I think, three times out of the Six four miles. we played. Uh, Tyler learned it a lot today. We schooled him. He learned about <laughs> coins. I showed him a Canadian loon. I showed him a Susan B. Anthony. I showed him a 1944 wheat penny. A turny. That's made of what? Uh, wheat. Shell, Shell casings? Yeah, there you go. It's, it's made of wheat. <laughs> 44 and 45 were made of, of a shell casing. Made of wheat. Why would they call it a wheat penny if it's no, not made boy. of wheat? Then he learned about Jesse James because I had a neighbor that used to work for Jesse James. And he was what? Crazy. He was crazy. And what? the only body could do, that could control him was? His mother. Frank, his Frank. brother. His brother. <laughs> well, mother. we had school. Whether that was retained anything in there, I don't know. <laughs> it's and commentary on the modern school education now, system. tell us what you learned about that we did put a man on the moon. Oh, you relayed the signal from the moon to... USS America. The USS America. 
during the moon landing. So there had to be a direct... So there had to be a moon landing, because where's that signal coming from the moon if there's no moon landing? There They're going to put Stanley Kubrick up on the moon? How are they going to do that? They can't do that. Go blues, by the way. Uh, let's see. We uh, heard and... <laughs> We heard loons and saw loons, and the yellow boat, I'm in the red boat, uh, really ticked them off because you about ran them over. Was that the canoers coming in? That was the canoers coming in. Okay, all right. And we heard wolves. The real McCoy. Okay, let's see, what else? Fish totals. Well, to show you how bad the fishing has been... Wait till I give you the cue. <laughs> We've been trying to study this book because the fishing is really, excuse the expression, sucks. It's the only way to see a fish up here. Yeah. <laughs> we know that's a walleye. We have, well, I'll give you the fish totals. Okay. Uh, how many did you get today? Zero. How many did I get? Zero. How many did Travis get? Ooh. And that's all the music so, you get because we didn't catch anything. We got points two, four, and nine. So uh, really hasn't, but we're only halfway through. So we have full confidence that we're gonna get out of this slump, gonna, not be sent back to the miners to AAA. We're gonna go. Oh look, he's trying to be uh, <laughs> Tyler Five Crowns. Maybe at a luck around. I got a throat infection. <laughs> So, the kid laughs at his own joke. <laughs> Everyone says that. Everyone he, rags on me about that. I don't understand. He didn't get to sleep last night to what five? I have no idea, buddy. It was something like it. Last time he looked at the clocks, I think he's so excited about being up here. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't wait to catch nothing, buddy. It's just so hey, fun. You got to keep trying. It's not about the amount of fish you catch, it's about how much fun you enjoy. Now, by the way, huh? Well, I think we already played it. By what way? That playing that will get the. You missed your cue again, but that's oh, okay. right. Anybody else, uh, Mr. Director, do you have anything else? Nope, do you see a bear? No, sir. No, but <laughs> we put the thing out. Our director is colorblind. Uh, Tyler told him to turn the red light on. So there's no red light. And he goes, Ugh. Tyler goes around, pushes it, and then he says, oh, that red light. <laughs> okay. Well, until tomorrow, we love you, and bye, bye everybody. Bye. Woo! That's your cue to turn it off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
normal people would say, what spatula? I was just trying to make noise to him. He goes in to the cabin, gets the spatula, and brings it out to me. <laughs> what more can I say about that? Uh, I'll let you decide if that's what happened, folks. Okay. Uh, Travis did what? Oh, he wanted five. I can't believe it. You wanted five crowns? Yes. I thought I was Jimmy Five Crowns, so it's Travis Five Crowns now. Uh, anyway, it was it was really windy today. Travis and Tyler went out fishing, and, and Travis caught a Coke bottle pike. Now, what, if you're wondering what a Coke bottle pike is, it was a <laughs> It was the size of one of those little six-inch yeah. pikes. You know, you can barely you you have bait that's bigger than they are. Did you tell them about the half-full cokes, buddy? Oh yeah, uh, we got a twelve-pack of coke, mm -hmm. and Travis opened one, and he poured out probably six ounces, and he looks as that's twelve-ounce coke, so that looked like twelve ounces, and we got the shaft. It was a, not. <laughs> Went full. Yeah. So he opened up another one. Same things. He opened about three or four of them, and the same thing. They're about a half full. So he is going to write Coke when we get home. That's true. They're going to get a letter, yeah. or they're going to get an email. Oh, an email. I think a written, you know, registered letter would do more. They'll right. probably toss it out if you do. Because see, you can, you can delete an email, but you can't if it's registered. You got proof that you got it. So, I'm just helping you out there, not that I'm a lawyer. Okay, it was really hot and sunny today, so we took our chairs down a little bit on the trail and sat in the shade and, and uh, smoked a cigar. Cigars. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, yeah, he didn't smoke one. That's right, Ray. He, he didn't smoke one. <laughs> but it was, they were good. Uh, Put took a little over it. Cover it up. <laughs> took a nap. So, and then... Uh, I suppose you forgot the da 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 Oh, <laughs> where is that? Well, I don't know, but we... I, I don't think I, I had lived for a half hour while we find it. Uh, <sighs> I told him to put with the camera, but... Uh, it's probably... Down, we'll, just, we'll just scratch that from tradition. I think the okay, battery's buddy. about to run out anyway. It's okay, buddy. Anyway, fish totals for today. Uh, and I just want you to know <laughs> that the fishing is... Not as good in previous years. In fact, what we catch, what we've caught so far in four days is probably equal to what we had on our worst mm. one day previously. But anyway, da, 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 there you go. All right, Tyler, two points. Pappy, six points. I caught a 30-inch northern. And here, here's a picture of it. Isn't that nice? All right, good job. Good and luck then, with that uh, editing, Tyler. Travis, 13 points. Even though we've caught between us about 15 walleye, but only one keeper. So it's this at the, he's caught the only smallmouth bass, and, <sighs> and we've only caught, what, like three northern between us. So, mm -hmm. you know, this hasn't been a great, Time, but Thank goodness end. for that two points, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still in the running, buddy. <laughs> That's right. You're always in the running. You never know. Just like five crowns, it goes until the kings run wild. Unless you get if you, unless you get out the first five rounds. Okay. Then you pretty much won. Well, that's what <clears throat> Tyler five crowns, or Travis five crowns did today. So. Anyway, folks from the Northwoods... <laughs> Goodbye, Bye, everybody. everybody. Where'd you see that moose? That what? That moose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, let it go. We forgot. You can cut it out. And again, people, we saw that moose yesterday, and you know where we saw it? We saw it in the woods. Okay. So, we got the lighter. Whoops. We got the lighter and we got the paper towel. And then we've got the smaller kindling and then we've got larger stuff. So we'll put the paper towel in first, then we'll start stacking this on it and then we'll just work our way up. Okay.
Now I'm going to do that. Wait a minute, gotta smoke my eyes. All right. So I'm gonna cry. Smoke follows beauty, that's what's going on the way. <laughs> All right, what do you got there, buddy? What do you got there? Steaks, ready to go on the fire. And what are the steaks? Porterhouse? Moose. Moose, sorry. They're moose, because we saw the moose in the... That's right. So let's see if we can get them on here without spilling them. Whoever falls in is his jimmies. Okay. Ooh, sticky, sticky. Freeze. There you go. Looks good, buddy. Steaks are on. Wind her up. Get her cooking. You need a spatula? Do you need a spatula? They have one up there. <laughs> but they've left, so. Steaks cooked. It's a Sunday afternoon, about 1:30. We are. It's kind of cloudy and raining out, but we're ready to eat inside with steaks, mashed potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> Tyler and and uh, Travis have beer. I have off, so it's got a we're ready to go. And we're going to say the blessing and thank God for our time here and together and. Hopefully there's more fish to be caught, so A-I-O. Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. I'm Red Green, this is my nephew Buford, and that's Patrick and SpongeBob SquarePants mm. back there. Uh, this is the blog for Sunday, June 11th, I believe, whatever it is. We're, it's June. Time goes by fast. We, ninth. Up here. It uh, rained so all day, knows. so we got we woke up late because we uh, fish late because the walleye uh, they they don't like light, and so it's better to catch them at night. And since the northern essentially and the smallmouth aren't running yet, essentially I guess the walleye aren't. We caught twenty two, and but only one keeper. So for the rest of this trip. No more fish totals. Here, put the logo that, or the graphic that you have and then cut it in half and then it'll fall. Yeah, if you don't like it, here's a picture for you. <laughs> oh, did you like that picture? Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Here, uh, sma here, here's the fish total thing. Smash it. Okay. Uh, smash the record. There we go. Anyway, we played Jimmy Five Crowns again. Tyler won. Travis had 225 points. <clears throat> and then he made a reference to my weight, which is not 225. And yeah, you gained a couple on the trip. <laughs> anyway, there's now in the cabin is only Ty and I. Okay, Tyler is the fire marshal, so about noon we collected uh, wood. And by the way, you know it's a fact that you can get fire without stealing it. We collected it from the from the nature from the forest. From we stole nature. it from nature. <laughs> we got dead tree limbs and. 
and uh, started a fire and I had pretty good steaks. We allowed Travis back in mm. to cook the, the steaks and they were moose meat. And where do we see that moose? In, in the, the woods. woods. Okay. Put the picture of the in the woods. Uh, there you go. So but we allowed them back in to do that. Then it rained and it rained and it got cold. In fact, uh, we have we have a radio up here and young uh, nephew <laughs> Buford over here heard a weather report and said it's going to be nine tonight and the high tomorrow is going to be 40. But little did he realize that we had a Canadian station and they go by Celsius. So it's actually going to be 37 mm. tonight. And I thought it was going to be really one. cold. Well, you're nine. You went nine. Uh, another initial. Hey, I say that while we play five crowns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you say mm. zero. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, it's so cold up here and it's June. Uh, we looked in our little outhouse we have to use as our restroom, potty, whatever you want to talk it. And there's still ice. If you look in the hole down there, there's about that much ice thickness all across this bottom of the slab. So you can get cold that way. And this just in, Jerry St Seinfeld was in the B movie. Are you ready? In what year? <laughs> da da da. I don't know. It was on the thing. It was 2007. Okay. I'm going to die. <laughs> anyway, Send help. Like <laughs> okay. Is there anything else we need to talk about? I don't want to. You don't want to? <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else we need to talk about? <laughs> Three D, folks. Oh yeah. Three D. Here, split the YGB colors. Make it three D. Now it's in three D. I split the YGB. Okay, is that it? I'm gonna have to look up a YouTube tutorial on how is to do that. Is that it? I think so, buddy. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, until tomorrow night. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, bye, Jerry Seinfeld. Okay.